I am. I'm live. As, as promised to some ladies earlier today. Um, yes, I've been shopping again. <laughs> I have been shopping. Excuse the fringe. Um, need a cut again. How does that happen? I swear I only cut that a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, the hair is coming on a pace, as you can probably see. It's going bananas. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. <laughs> we'll give everyone a chance to come in the room, sit yourselves down, make yourselves comfortable. Um, yes, I went shopping again this morning. <laughs> Hello, Joel. Hello, Lex. <laughs> I told you I'd come on. Um, yeah, I did get some more bits. Oh, hello, Laura. Lovely to see you. Just, just let a few more people in through the door. My hair is glorious. It's having a bit of a fluffy moment, as you can see. I did chop some ends off. <laughs> I did administer to the ends, but it's kind of very, very faded now. But what I have noticed, what I've realised, is that because that's my natural dark colour. So it's sort of, oh, I can't do things backwards, can I? I should have plaits really, shouldn't I? And then it'd all kind of merge in. But yeah, it's getting longer. We're getting there. So it's coming up to, it's not quite a year since I stopped dyeing it. So yeah, that's a good six inches, I would say, of growth in a year, which isn't bad going, is it? Oh, hello, Carla. Hello, one. <laughs> hello, one. Has one come in the room? <laughs> one is joining us. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh gosh, right. Oh, 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 it's all it's all gone completely mad now. Hello, who's in? Who haven't I said hello to yet? <laughs> oh, oh, Sam, Sam's in. I, oh, there you are. Hello, Sam. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Right. So if you're all sitting comfortably, I'll begin. Um went back to one of my charity shops, one of my favourite places, still currently having their two pound sale on. I know that this is gonna end. Right, man in a high-vis jacket, think, where are you going? What are you doing? I'm just going to look out the window and make sure he's not a traffic warden. No, he's not. It's all right, because sometimes if they come along, they'll... Um, <laughs> one expected that be an exclamation mark. Oh, yes, Lex is relaxing. She's done her work for today. She's allowed. <laughs> so, yes, basically, this particular shop a lot of the charity shops have been having two pound sales or the sensible ones anyway, who were overloaded with stock. But I think now that's starting to ease off a bit. They're not feeling quite so drowned. And so prices are going to start returning to somewhere near a normal level. This particular shop are very good, amazing staff, you know, lots of new stock coming out. And, and I will be going there even if I haven't got a sale. But I'm kind of filling my boots because it that means I don't have to go out and source which, although I like to do it, means I'm not committed to having to spend money. <laughs> neighbourhood what? Yes, neighbourhood witch. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm making my own plans for Halloween, actually, as we speak, or Samhain, as as it tends to be called, amongst many other things. And and I'm going to have a very fun, week, fun weekend with a very good friend who, who we will socially distance, but we will celebrate accordingly. So, this little number... Something I found now. I love an old style dressing gown. This is this is this acetate stuff. Um, there's a few pulled threads, but I can deal with those because the whole thing does not unravel if it's acetate and you just take them off. Um, it's got a bit of a busy pattern woven into it. There's loads of these threads. They must have had a cat, I'm guessing, because we all know what cat's claws will do. But this has that kind of jacquard, not jack there. <coughs> but um, jackard. Now, what's happened here is a seam has popped open. It is literally a seam that's popped open, and I can fix that quite easily. So I didn't mind paying my two pounds for this because, although the brand is long washed out, and any idea of what the size might be, the colour is splendid. And when I've got rid of my hairs, which seem to be, excuse my phone, my hairs which seem to be all over, it, it'll be a nice thing once I've repaired it. When you're looking at these, make sure you get them with the belt. So many times, old dressing gowns and various things, they're either horribly faded because someone's left them in the sunshine, or they're missing their belt. Who is that? Does somebody need my attention? They probably don't. 
this is a new phone and I haven't quite worked out how to amend it. Um, it's noises off, if you know what I mean. Ah, still poor sales, I have to say. So there we go, that's the way of these things. You sandwichy Sam. <laughs> it should have been, shouldn't it, Lex? <laughs> oh, hello, Dawn. Oh, evening, I should say. It's good evening from Australia. Neighbourhood witch. Yes, that's me. <laughs> yeah, Carla's doing absolutely bloody amazing. Cannot cannot say how proud we all are of her and how difficult it must be and heaven only knows but I think that's quite remarkable. Now what I've got in here is a two-piece item that was still two pounds. It's nothing fancy but it was the style of it. It's actually principles but when you get jackets out this little peplumy bit, these little crop jackets um, and a nice little Sort of pencil, get it right around, nice little pencil style skirt that goes with it. They can do well. People quite often like them. Now, what I didn't check because I was in a bit of a hurry and there was so much stuff to see in the shop is what bloody size it is. Because quite often the skirt and the top may not necessarily be the same size. But I will investigate. Um, if they are not the same size, I may sell them separately. But the top is a 12, and I'm guessing that the bottom is a 12 too. It looks pretty much like it. What tends to happen with suits is if they've got a different size, you'll tend to find that the bottom is bigger than the top, because I think that's, I think, yes, very Jackie-o, a little, a little retro-y, a bit sort of secretary, really rather sweet and lovely, and I do, I do work with that sort of thing. Now, I've put another bag, so I'm not going to make it. I can decant stuff properly. Right, onwards. I'm sitting slightly awkwardly because I've got a cat behind me who won't budge. <laughs> we'll keep praising you, Carla. There's no getting away from it. Nobody can see you blush. <laughs> um, I picked these up because oh, take these off. Because they were Jaeger. This is the new Jaeger label, not the vintage, but they're just a very smart. For those people who like to be smart, which doesn't include me, clearly. A uh, very smart pair of trousers. Work trousers, dress trousers, whatever the term is. But they felt like a really nice quality. I can't see the fabric, actually. They've probably got a good wool con content in them. And I am molting. What is going on? When I molt, everyone knows about it because there's a lot of hair going on. Um, they're just really rather nice, smart trousers. Uh, they're not lined. But they will probably do some in a good turn. There are people who are big fans of Jaeger, so go with that. Catch, don't do that. Sorry, there was a claw where there really shouldn't have been one. What are you doing? So pretty. Right, on from the cat. It's very Jackie home, yes. <laughs> um, I'm saying that most of this is clothing. There are some shoes too. She was also two pounds a pair. I picked this up because more for the style. I don't, it hasn't got a particular brand, or at least nothing that I could see. But it's a lined wool skirt and it has these pleats in. This is a very, I don't know if it's a maxi or a midi. There's no point me doing it on me. I would say that's probably a maxi for most people. It'd be a midi on me. Um, really rather nice. Again, very smart. I think people are some people are going to be getting a bit fed up of the dressing down stuff and want to be smart. So or we need it for job interviews and things. Who knows? Oh, naughty Maximus. Yes, he's very naughty. Especially with those claws. It's like he's what he's doing is laying on the seat and he's pushing, just trying to make me move. Deeply naughty. God, hang on, I'm really hot now. I think Hubby's turned the heating on because he's working at home today. There we go. I drink and I know things. <laughs> I do indeed. I know some things. And yes, I do drink. Given the opportunity. Right, what we've got here? Jumpers. These are in no particular order. Well, the Rand files are in. Hello. Windsor, Connecticut. I, ah, wow. Okay, so you're having breakfast. Excellent. Good morning to you. Lovely to have you here. Um, 
this is now i don't pick up every piece of massimo do you in spite of it being pretty expensive to buy new but i picked this up because it says cotton and silk which i think most people quite appreciate it's a thin knit jumper um i've got to work out if it's a man's or a woman's because at this particular charity shop they do get a bit madly lots of labels in it it's not a faked brand anyway generally massimo duty let's have a look okay we have cotton 71 percent, 29 percent silk this looks in really good neck just trying to find the size medium medium so is that a man's or a woman's i usually work it out by the sleeve length and it's things without buttons now i don't have the longest arms but i think that's probably a man Maybe a men's medium men's smaller these days or is that just me i'm just used to great hulking things in my life so i thought that was rather nice and then i had to find some cashmere because you know why wouldn't i i can detect cashmere at 50 bases or certainly once i lay hands on it um easier to do if it's not freezing cold very easy to confuse polyester with cashmere if your hands aren't warm if you know if your hands are too cold um they do have a different quality to it this is a cashmere cardigan i'm doing the buttons up just because it'd be look less like a dish i'm going to show it to you and it's got really nice square buttons which is unusual these are um i think they're like mother of pearl they might not be real mother of pearl but it's marks and spencer autograph which people like it's a cashmere gray neutral cardigan there it's really rather lovely not shrunken or tight knit so that's that's all good i should get that on very soon okay where are we where are we going now now i picked this up because I, again i don't pick everything up that's weird fish um but sort of better quality pieces were probably more expensive initially this is like a hoodie ah damn it is missing one of those i'm not sure that's going to make a massive amount of difference and it might be in the pocket but it's a very lightweight hoodie um just a quarter zip pop over style with a pocket at the front yeah nothing amazing but i do like them when they have the all the little details like little fishy and the zip i wonder if it's got a zip down the side i wonder what that's for heaven only knows but you know i don't mind picking these things up when they're a couple of quid because i'm hoping to get sort of a good few quid back on it it's not a top of the range item but it's all good oh <laughs> cat trying to shove me off my chair again right we get onto a few sparklies just because again i don't know this brand i'm not sure it's terribly high end it's lace and beads I just thought this was so sweet. This is actually a play suit, if that's the right term. Little shorts at the bottom. Yep, they are shorts at the bottom. And then this rather 20s style capelet sort of top. Absolutely beautiful. I just love seeing these because I, there's so much work that goes in them. And I think people are a bit fed up of, of being dull and, and want a bit of sparkle back in their lives, even if they're not necessarily going out. If you wear that, you know, everyone's going to see you coming, even on a Zoom party. I think it's quite a small size. And of course, it's not going to have a size label in it. But I would say that's probably an eight. That's quite small. Good to keep the person. More tall skinny one. More sparkles. Oh, yes. <laughs> More sparkles. Are you predictable? You were hoping for jewelry. I did tell you, Lex. I did say. I'm really sorry. I haven't got any jewelry. This particular charity shop just doesn't have doesn't have the jewelry. There's another one I go to that sometimes has some nice bits, um, but it's not this particular one. So this one is more for my everyday stock rather than picking jewelry. So I have to do the elastic ones. Another shiny one. This is this is actually ASOS, but I picked it up because of the style. And at two pounds each, I don't have to get a high dollar for it. But how's that? Ooh, I mean, it's quite heavy. There's a lot of work 
I've gone into it. It's quite good quality. This is actually a size 10. So it's a little bigger than the other one. It's got the proper linings to it, so it's all nice. And that actually is a is a sort of skater style skirt. I, I thought it was so nice. Just all these lovely beads. And I do have a good look over to make sure none are missing, although you can't say for sure. But it does look pretty good. There might be one or two missing just on the top. There, but when you've got this busier pattern, I don't seriously think it matters too much. Right, where are we? I'll dig around here. Oh, no, I picked these up as I was at. <laughs> as I was stood at the till, I saw these. Now, I have just sold something for very little money that was this brand, but that was more accidental because it had been hanging around a long time. This is John Smedley. For two pounds? Yes, please. Um, they're very, very fine knit. Usually merino wool, but it's a damned expensive brand new. This is actually a, like a, a gilet top, a waistcoat, I suppose you call it, tank top. God knows what the term is these days. Um, these are men's. I'm pretty sure these are men's. But that's in a very deep green. And then right behind it, right behind it in this, in a very aubergine colour, which I think is fabulous. If I can get it the right way up to show you, this is one of the classic designs, which is a quarter neck, quarter button neck um, jumper, really. It looks more grey there, but it's actually like a very rich aubergine colour. Uh, they're made in England and merino wool. This, this brand, and I will show it to you properly. If you see this, do grab it because you can get good money on it. It's yeah, I'm going to have to go very carefully to make sure there's no holes because it's such a fine knit. It's so delicate. If if it's not looked after properly, it can just kind of fall to pieces. They're lovely. Those, those themselves are more than pay for what I've got here. I actually spent thirty nine pounds um, in total for the whole thing. There you go, take nine pounds. That's what I spent today. Uh, this is one of my very favourite places to go. I've got it filed away. There we are. Right. Last bit of what I call clothing clothing. This I picked up because I thought it was a nice style and I always do quite well with jigsaw. This is a, a not a vintage piece. I do quite often find vintage jigsaw and it, and it goes well. But I thought this was looked like a nice size. It's a bit of the wrong season. But it's kind of a midi tunic dress and it's quite a big size. So because people cut the size out when they're big sizes. <laughs> It's like, why? Why not be proud of whatever size you are? No one's going to peer inside your labels and go, ooh. Um, it's actually rayon, so it's not made out of anything amazing, but yeah, for two quid, yes, please. I'm trying not to pick up so many dresses. I seem to have a little bit of a backlog on them. People didn't buy dresses this year in quite the same quantity they normally do. <laughs> sparklies. Yeah, we all have sparklies. Oh, thank you. Josh is... Uh, Sending me some of uh, these bags. Where are they? I'm not. I'm get, I never like to run out. They're, they're these. They're sort of more environmentally friendly. They are plastic, but they're more environmentally friendly. Um, and I buy them from Josh because that supports his business, and I find them very good. Very good and very sturdy. Shall we say they do the job they're supposed to. So if you need bags, go and check out JD Network Reselling. This I picked up because, yes, it's a cravat. <laughs> I mean, it is actually a cravat. But this brand is a good brand in, in vintage stuff. Tutel, made in England, probably from the 50s or 60s. Um, I won't say that they're sort of big sellers by any means, but that has a tiny bit of a stain on. Look, you can see that. Mm. We'll attack that with a wet wipe. Um, it's not silk. They usually make things out of rayon. But they say wash as silk, so you have to be quite careful with the stuff. So I will sort that little blip out later. 
And this I picked up. Why did I pick this up? Oh, yeah, unusual. First of all, I thought, ooh, Liberty. But this isn't Liberty as in Liberty London. This is obviously to do with um, stocks and shares, I think. And then I saw this name, which again is quite a good name. Vineyard Vines Custom Collection. I just thought, A, it's a nice, it is an unusual and quite nice design. Um, we'll go super with the blue suits that are very much in now, or a grey suit. And it is, of course, silk. Um, yeah. So uh, I, I think the tie was 50p or something. No, might be 50p, something like that. So I thought, oh, we'll try that. I have a few ties on, not lots, although I have a lot of ties. Right, now, shoes. Shoes, also £2 a pair. Yeah, Josh's bags, thumbs up. These need a little, little bit of a go over with um, my suede brush. They're in a really good autumnal colour. They're in a sort of a rust colour which very much goes with all the topes and the browns and the neutrals that are about now. These are these are clearly sort of probably 80, 80s or 90s. I would say they've got a slightly squared off heel. There we go, you can see more of the shape. But I mean, clearly never worn, never worn outside. They were two pounds, they're size seven. Um, I'm not sure if the leather is the leather if the sole is leather they might be but they are people might remember this brand from back in the day pied -a -terre, very much in the late 80s 90s brand and they have got that squared off toe which i am led to believe is has kind of come around full circle again so somebody may well enjoy those um oh that cat again <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> we use those bags for everything, don't we? Most people know when they spot these a mile off, these are clocks, unstructured, a comfort shoe that is, has a real following. People like these. They probably don't want the little pebble that seems to come in here. Yeah, that's the problem with these soles. They get the, get the pebbles in. There we go. I don't like them being in there. There we are. Ow. So they have soft soles. Um, these are hook and loop, again, which caters for fat people's feet, sometimes slightly wider, they're the unstructured brand. Don't always get a whole heap for them anymore, but they, they've got a following, so they will sell, they're a quick seller. Oh, excuse me, I sneeze. Right. These I also picked up. Um, why they've got fun little smiley face stickers in them, I don't know. Some child was clearly having a bit of a field day with daddy's shoes. I'll take those out because they're quite cute. Um, these are American Eagle Outfitters. And they're the deck shoes, which again aren't really particularly of this season. But, you know, they won't be listed as priority in my store, but they've had they've had very little wear. They've clearly just been stored somewhere. Um, yeah. Size US 9, which is a UK 8. Eight and a half is that, I want to say. 8.5, UK 8.5. I mean, American Legal Outfit is a, is a good brand, so. But I reckon they're not likely to sell any time shoes. Favourite work shoes, yeah, because you, they're cushioned and you can stand in them. They're just known for comfort. Oh, no. Oh, God, damn cat, will you take your claws and stop trying to push me off my chair? That's the old cat. Nice to put the sticker on the outside, but there we go. Now these look like sort of fairly, they need a bit of, a little bit of TLC, but they're actually fit flops. Fit flops, fit flops. Now, and there were six, so they're my size. They look very wide, which again is a good thing because people have wider feet. They're very much a comfort shoe. Not really my style though. Well, I might try them, but I don't think they're really me. Um, but yeah, they they can do with a little bit of a clean up, but there's nothing. They're sort of are they silver or are they gold? I think they're kind of a gold, but they're very silvery gold, old colour. Oh, hello, Mike. <laughs> nice to see you. Here. <laughs> Hope you're well, looking after yourself. So I was quite pleased with those. 
Uh, yeah. The soles are sound. I do check things with thick rubber soles. Final pair of shoes. Gosh, I'm going for nearly half a minute. You can't know. I can't see me in those either. It was because they were my size. I thought, oh, they're comfortable. I do wear, for the whole of summer, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in fit flops, but I wear the sandals with the toe post, uh, usually black sparkly ones. Um, and then in winter, I go straight into clumpy boots, DMs. So th there's nothing in between. I can't actually wear ordinary shawl. White gold. Thank you, Mike. Yes, that's, that's probably the term I was looking for. These are DMs. <laughs> two quid and they actually look like they've never been worn now they may not be the most popular style i think i'm not sure if they're the ones with the steel toe caps or not maybe not but they are they're pretty sound i think these were also nine nine uk us 10 there we go so i've got hairs if that was molting didn't i so i i cannot see how one can possibly lose on a pair of DMs, and sort of slight, what I call slightly pasty style. <laughs> Big foot. Mind you, having said that, I've just had to order my son a pair of two pounds, a pair of size 12 school shoes. Seriously, man, I'm kind of hoping that his feet are going to just sort of stop there because he's clearly got the rest of his body that needs to catch up. Um, <laughs> the, these ones, Sam, the, these ones are similar to the ones that cost you. I think these are a guy's size, to be fair. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're certainly the Will McCoy. There's no doubt about it. Um, oh, okay. Somebody wore them once. Literally wore them once because there's a the tiniest bit of wear on there. So they're definitely, they're not new, but they are in incredibly good condition. From the outlet, yeah. So I was, I was quite pleased with those, to say the least. It was like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. So worth looking in the men's. Right, my final three items are artwork. Because I do look through the artwork and I tend to, I'm just interested in it. I like it. And I don't like to see what I think might be original artwork just ending up going to landfill. I think that's terribly sad because someone's worked at it. Someone's had a go. Um, I hear there's a bit of a, cult following for what we call terrible art in charity shops there's a there's a whole website devoted to that um so i just throw my jewelry on the floor um but they, these aren't particularly terrible at least i don't think they are i could be wrong and i do try and look for things that might be original so i wasn't sure what this was it's all very nicely mounted um Mm, okay. Um, and I got all three of these pictures for five pounds. And I'm trying to peel the sticker off without actually. Now this, the one of the reasons I picked it up was not that I particularly liked. I'm sorry. Yes, I do that. Ah, well, you know, I'll be all right. This actually says it comes from um, A.E. Dutton and Son Fine Art Galleries. So clearly somebody went to the trouble of buying this from an art shop. I have to touch my face because hairs are in it. It's driving me nuts. Um, it looks like it's an original. It's kind of embossed. It's it's printed into what looks like handmade paper. There is a signature here, which heaven only knows what that is, but I will try and find out. Um, it's nicely mounted. It's nicely framed, and it looks like original artwork of some sort. So with that in mind, for a pound 50 or pound 75 or whatever this worked out at, I thought that was pretty good. Then I picked up two more pieces. Oh, I don't know why that has a KK on the front of it. A sticker. I'm really not sure what that's about. Um, this says Carol Adorn, Jonathan Fuchs, 1982. And then there's a sort of personal message from somebody. It was obviously a gift to someone, which is very sad when it rocks up into a charity shop. But it's a very atmospheric, you can barely see it. So this is Kerala Dawns. This is from somewhere in India. Someone's done a very washy, delicate little watercolour, but the, it's been beautifully framed and clearly was, was valued. Um, and again, we've got the artist there, so I'm 
they've got a certain charm to them. I mean, to be fair, the frames are worth more than, you know, more than, more than a couple of quid, aren't they? Another one with a sticker. This was the final one. Oh, icky stickies. Electioneering. Good luck, Terry. <laughs> Have a good, have a good one. Get some rest. <laughs> um, right, there's this one, which I thought was quite atmospheric. This is the first picture I saw. I thought, oh, that's very, um, I don't know, I quite liked that. It looks like it's charcoals. But you see, the thing is, it, it tells you, someone's thoughtfully put about the artist on the back. Tim Pryke in Ticesty, Sussex. So... I mean, you know, these are very minor artists, I'm sure. Tim Pryke, 1969, he did this. So, yeah, you know, they make, they're not big names or anything, but they have a certain charm to them. And it's original art, so, like I say, I just, the thought of this ending up in the back of a van going to landfill, it just fills me with horror. Um, you know, cheap prints and stuff that you can buy in Ikea. Okay, fair enough, but real art. And, I, and also, I kind of, I'm kind i trying to learn a bit more about it. It is a bugger to post. Um, it doesn't sell quickly, blah, blah, blah. Oh, hello, Nia. Nice to see you. Um, but it's kind of part of my learning thing. I get, I get pleasure out of it. So that's more of a hobby, I suppose, than, than the money-making bread and butter side of things. So that was my haul for today. £39 spent. Certainly a lot more than that coming back from it. I haven't calculated. No research has been done. I literally got back here in time for coffee with the ladies at midday. And yes, so I'm quite happy with my finds. I will be probably going to a boot fair this weekend because it's the very last one in my area. Um, and they're outdoors as well. So we don't have the luxury of undercover ones. Um, so I'm going to it's the last one of the year of this particular boot fair and I'll go along and see if I can scoop up some goodies. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we find. But I, I'm not short of stock. Um, I've sort of worked it out. I have enough stock to see me through probably until about March next year. And I'm sure that's not counting some of the jewellery stuff. So thank you very much for joining me. That was my half an hour whiz through. Now I've only got to photograph the damn stuff and it's looking very dark out there now. <laughs> Never mind. I will see you all soon. Thank you for joining me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Go check out Josh's bags because they're super. So take care and I will see you soon. I was going to just leave the studio then. I can't do that. I have to end the broadcast or it all goes horribly wrong. Tutty bye, folks. Oh, hello, Swamp Picker. You have just missed it, but you can go back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for popping in. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah.